so guys some person say they cannot get a power bi account because they don't have a work email and they cannot they don't they cannot afford to buy a domain or they don't want to buy a domain so i don't know in this video so i'm excited because in this video i'm going to be showing you how to get your work email for free absolutely free no domain nothing you don't need to buy domain you don't need to buy hosting nothing absolutely free so you're going to get your free domain so you're going to get your free work email to be able to get your free power bi account how cool is that come with me let me show you so we are getting a work email for absolutely free you don't need to buy domain you don't need to do anything uh just come to your favorite browser as usual i'm going to be using my chrome so you're going to be getting it from microsoft all right so just go to microsoft 365 business plan so just see micro 365 business plans hit on enter it's going to bring you here go into microsoft official website make sure you click on this first one that says microsoft 360 business all right click on it so right here you can see find the best microsoft 360 plan for your business let's now check out the pricing of course they are doing promo right now you can even save 16 percent when you pay annually so the first price they said microsoft 360 basic business plan is six dollars per month the second plan is Microsoft 360 Business Standard for $12 per month. This is $22 per month. And then $8.25 per month for business plan. All right. So these are the different plans available for you. But we want to get it for free. We don't want to pay any money because we don't have money. Right. So just scroll down, scroll down, keep going down, keep going down, don't stop. So you see this one that says, oh, try for free for one month. This is what we need. We don't want to pay money. Just try for free. Click on try for free for one month. So it brings us here to this try for free for one month subscription account details. So how many people do you want? So you can choose as many people as you want, but I think you just want to choose only you for now. Then uh, just click on next here. Then here you need to put an email, put your email address. So you're going to put your regular email address here. Click on next so it says looks like you need to create a new account let's get you started continue as this here yes, set up an account so here you just want to put your basic details you know all of that so they can create that free account for you so i'm just going to fill up all these my details So on the phone number, you want to make sure you put only 10 digits. So you need to remove the first zero uh, before the nine. All right. Since you're still going to select your country to tell them where you're from. So they are just going to take your country code. So if you add your country code, uh, so you just put only the 10 first, the last 10 digits here, then put your company name. Then here you want to select, uh, number of people you want to sign up for so you can get as many as unlimited you know up to 1000 plus people so i just want for myself and nobody else then here you want to select your country so that they can use your country code so i just want to look for my country i'm in nigeria i'll select that so uh would you like to no 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 i don't just want any this i just click on next then here they want to send you a code to verify that your phone number is real so they just just make sure uh just click on the send verification code so here's the verification code from m commerce i'm just going to put it four three eight four four eight i'm just going to click on verify so right now this is the most important part please pay attention you're signing details this is where you're getting that free work email the free business email all right so uh here you have to pay attention and it's very very important okay so the email you're going to get will have this extension on microsoft.com all right but it's still going to have your business name as well okay so here you just want to put in your name then put in your business name here so it's going to be if my name is chris it's going to be chris at chris my business name chris global dot on microsoft.com all right because obviously it's free so <laughs> it's free so microsoft has to put their name there that's why it's free if you want to remove this then you have to pay for a domain and also hosting or an email plan before they can remove this so but it's fine as long as 
anywhere you want to use it maybe power bi if you want to use it on power bi if you want to use it to create a power bi service account they are going to recognize it as a work email then fine you really don't need it for any much thing if you want to get official work email for your business then you, you, you know how to go about it so here you need to create a login detail Please always remember, make sure you remember this password, put in your password and then verify the password. But to check if this is going to work, to make sure it is available before you proceed, hit on save. They are going to validate it. So they validated it and it works. All right. This is available and you can use it. So your new work email is now Chris Chris at chrisglobal.onmicrosoft.com. This is amazing, guys. So just click on next. And that work email is going to be created. Voila. So, guys, the work email has been created. So, guys, our work email has been created. Now they want you to put in your payment detail, but we don't want to pay. We don't want any Microsoft licensing. We just want a work email, and that's all. And we've gotten that already. And that is it. So you can now proceed to wherever you want to use that work email. Maybe, maybe you want to create a Power BI service account. You can just come to Power BI service. Then uh, it's also owned by Microsoft. Then you just click on Power BI here. They are going to want you to, of course, to sign in. You need to have a work email, right? So let's try to sign in with that work email that we've created and see if it is going to work. So guys, automatically, automatically, it has detected that my email look at it you are signing in with this my email look at it then just click on continue to continue so if it didn't detect the email because i'm doing all of this in the same microsoft this my uh, power bi service is owned by microsoft and they have seen that i created an email here with uh in a microsoft 360 business plan so automatically they detected that work email and then used it for me so i'm just going to continue to create my account and then log in so i'm just going to continue then they are going to prompt me to put in the password then i'll put in the same password i created i used to create this work email and then that's it i will have my work my power bi service working you can use this email for any platform that requires you to use a work email or a business email guys this is amazing thank you so much for watching if this video was helpful please drop a comment don't forget to subscribe also share this video i'll see you in the next video